Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are at the Endoscopic Cardiac Surgeons Club in Cincinnati. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Chris Malazri, who is a minimally invasive expert and an aortic valve specialist at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Malazri, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me today. Good to see you again, Adam. Yeah, so we're here at the Endoscopic Cardiac Surgeons Club. We're learning a lot. One of the questions that we've been getting in from patients congenital patients is, can minimally invasive techniques be used to treat patients with congenital heart valve disease? Yeah, minimally invasive heart surgery can be an option for patients with congenital heart disease. Fortunately, two of the most common congenital heart defects are benign for a very long time. So I'm talking about bicuspid aortic valve and mitral valve prolapse. You're born with these sort of things. They can get worse over time and occasionally need surgery later. So the first thing I like to emphasize is routine follow-up and paying attention even without symptoms for a disease that is severe. Now, when it does get severe, we'll start with bicuspid aortic valve. There are multiple ways to fix bicuspid aortic valve. It depends how the bicuspid valve gets diseased. It could either leak or it can become too tight. Usually too tight, we're talking about some sort of aortic valve replacement. For too leaky a valve, we can repair these valves. For a very straightforward aortic valve replacement with a mechanical valve for a younger patient, well within guidelines to get a mechanical valve for patients who are less than 50 years old, I think a minimally invasive approach is an excellent approach. That's a non-sternotomy approach. We can replace the valve in between the ribs on the right side. We could use that with direct vision, endoscopy, or robotic, and the patient can achieve a very quick recovery after a minimally invasive aortic valve replacement. For mitral valve prolapse, but when it does progress to the severe stage, mitral valve repair is an excellent option. This can also be performed through small incisions between the ribs on the right side using endoscopy or robotic approaches. All can achieve a very quick recovery for the patient. Dr. Malazri, very helpful. I am curious to know your thoughts for the patients out there who have maybe very complex cases of congenital heart disease with related valvular disorders, what's your recommendation for them? Congenital heart disease can range from the very simple things such as ASDs or VSDs. There are small windows within the heart that can cause shunting. The uh, shunting can cause short circuiting of blood in the heart. These can be easily repaired with minimum invasive approaches, usually taken care of while the uh, patient is a child or an infant. It's a very complex congenital heart disease. Now patients as they progress to adulthood can either have been treated for their adult congenital heart disease or uh, have not been treated at all. So I think it's really important to find a center that specializes in adult congenital heart disease, a center in which a cardiologist will see the patient, interventional cardiology can see the patient to offer percutaneous options, and also a surgeon who is experienced in both open and minimally invasive approach can offer treatment options for this patient who can sometimes be very, very complex. Well, Dr. Malazri, I can't thank you enough for really shining the light on the idea of having a multidisciplinary team along with the lifetime management of a congenital heart condition. So on behalf of the patients out there, patients all over the world, thanks to you for everything your team are doing at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for being with me today. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen, or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.